Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Outlaw playthrough. This is part 12. In this episode, we have ourselves a gym battle to go ahead and do. But just before we do that, we have gone ahead, we have trained up the team. Uh, I did go ahead and finally clear out Cycling Road, you know, the area that I completely skipped, and then came down into the city and was just like, oh, oh, everyone's strong here. Yeah, that. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and fight those. Turns out, if you fight them, you end up with a much more balanced team. I uh, still haven't cleared out all of the area to the right. Uh, down from Lavender Town towards Future City, but this should be fine for now. I feel like our team is plenty trained enough to deal with Koga. This episode, though, we are going to start off by checking out everywhere but the gym, because I am curious as to what is around, such as this uh, sign that I clicked on. I didn't go into the actual building, because I was, to be honest, I wanted to save it, but Adult Entertainment Sexy. This would normally be the house sort of closest to the area where you would get the Strength HM before, so, I want to know if that old dude with, like, his gold tooth or whatever is in this place just running a sex business. I'm- I'm genuinely concerned. <laughs> Welcome. You're too young to legally get a dance or a drink, but feel free to look around. You probably shouldn't have them looking around either, to be honest, but here we are. Is this... Is this... They're just watching people run on the spot. Well, this is harmless. I'm gonna play the innocent child role. Wow, these people are just dancing. Yeah, this is easy money. Keep throwing all the cash at me. Dancing is so easy. I love my job. Woo! Woo! This girl can really shake it. Shake it? Shake. Shake. Shake weights? <laughs> She's got quite the behind, if you ask me. Quite the behind. What a gentleman right here. Quite the behind. <laughs> Worth the money. Oh, this girl's so hot, she's got quite the body and can really move it. Like, like the Madagascar so long, like to move it, move it, because, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, this is easy money, keep throwing all the- are you just saying the same thing? Okay, they all say the same thing, cool. Hey, can you not tell the other police officers that I'm here? There's just so many thugs and so much crime, the job's so damn stressful, I need to relax and unwind. So shut up, or I'll kill you. Well, that doesn't sound like you're relaxing and unwinding at all, does it, buddy? It seems like you need to come here more often, I guess. <laughs> I heard security guards love tea. I'll give it for free. Woo! Ah, okay, okay. Different location, but yeah. Everyone loves tea with just a bit of ecstasy. That's... No. <laughs> Let's party. No. I'm the bartender, so I kid you're way too young for alcohol. Stop right there, chump. This place is for VIP only. How do I get VIP? This is where the ladies get butt naked. <laughs> I hate that phrase. <laughs> and stuff gets wild. You can't handle that. Who becomes VIP? Well, not you. No, tell- how do I- how do I- <sighs> Well, that's just a shame. That's just a shame. Um, we do also have the slums, which I guess we can check out. Fuchsia slums, danger. I'll, I accept the danger. Sure, let's go into the slums. Um, I'm expecting a whole lot of terrible things. Don't tell anyone what's about to happen here, but I'm stealing all of their, all of their well-earned monies. It's all mine now. No one will ever know. Uh, Magma, we're just gonna go ahead and go into the butt Pokemon. Uh, if I had the rename, rename man, I would just go ahead and call this thing butt, because honestly, that's, that's all this Frogator is to me anymore. You know, it started off as nice, like a nice powerful water type that we didn't have anything of, you know, we had this nice powerful Croconaw, now it's just a butt. Uh, Kind of a shame how that worked out, but also, eh, it does its job. It uses surf, that's all we need, really. Uh, the sunlight's annoying, the sunlight's annoying, but we should still have a two-hit KO, right? That's, that's pretty close, but it should be. And we should tickle a little bit, don't burn, don't do it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Um, so far the slums haven't had anything too crazy in them, so can we land our moves, please? We're using Surf. It's a big old tidal wave. You know, that's not the sort of thing that you really mix. You know, big old tidal wave crashes down on the opponent. We should be fine to hit that, you know? We really should. But so far, the slums really haven't... <clears throat> Alright, let's just ignore it. Um, slums haven't had anything too crazy in them, so I don't really know what I'm looking for in here. I don't know if I can maybe find a TM. That's basically what I'm thinking. Maybe we find Earthquake in here. Quick would be nice. A quick would be nice. Uh, we finally landed our surf that we needed to land. That took, uh, honestly, way more attempts than it needed to, considering we only got hit by one smoke screen. But here we are. 
Plus, there's also just more XP before we do the gym. If we could get, for example, Combusket into a Blaziken, that'd be great. My life was so une uneventful until I found drugs. I'm buying more from that dealer over there for very cheap. Legal drugs are all I have to live for at my age. Drugs. Disclaimer. Don't do drugs. Out of my way, he has crack. Crack! Crack! Business is good, I gave the police a part of my drug profits. Yeah, yeah, well there's an X accuracy, which honestly I would have preferred to have before when we were fighting against that magma, but you know. You're suspicious, am I? Am I? What makes me suspicious, my dude? Because I rose out of my slums and made it to a new slums. Ah, we came full circle, didn't we? We just went from slums to slums. This was our entire journey. Yep, and I imagine this is probably how the journey's gonna end. I feel like the Elite Four is just gonna be a big old slum. Full of just everyone, every different member of the Elite Four isn't gonna have a different type of Pokemon, they're gonna be using a different drug. That's how I'm expecting this to all end up. <laughs> Honestly, as stupid as that sounds, I don't put it past this game for a second. I really don't. I'm fully expecting it now. Get the process on Thunderbolt, that's kinda nice. So yeah, we do have ourselves an Electrode. I know I didn't cover the uh, the Pokemon that we have too clearly or any moveset changes, but we have ourselves an Electrode. We don't, we didn't, didn't learn a single new move, I don't think. And I did also go ahead and capture ourselves a Flying type, which we can use once we get the ability to use Fly. Obviously we have the HM, but I don't think we have the badge for it. Uh, actually, maybe we do. Isn't it somewhere weird that gives you Fly, like Misty or Surge? I feel like one of those gives Fly really early on for whatever reason. So I think we can fly, um, I just need to teach you the actual HM, we have like a Pidgeotto just chilling in our box at the moment. Why is there like a teleport pad there? Am I missing something? I gotta work these kids, they ain't nothing else. I'll probably give them a marshmallow. Honestly, as a kid, if you told me, hey, break these rocks to get a marshmallow, I'd probably do it. This is hard work, but I really need food. My whole body's hurting. Oh, well that kid's crying, so that's not as, not as good. I used to have dreams, but they're dead. Kids stop being so relatable. <laughs> Grown ups are mean. They make me do. They make me work too hard. Kid, too relatable. I never really had a dream as such. That sounds really sad. Okay, let me let me clarify. Right, it's not it's not that sad. It's just I never really had like the whole I want to be an an astronaut sort of stage of my life. I never really got that. Instead, my whole thing was just I kind of want to play video games, and guess what? I still play a whole lot of video games. So. Living the dream? <laughs> I guess. It's not my job. My job is technically a painter, I suppose, because my mum runs an Etsy, job, Etsy shop and I just sort of chill and, and work there for honestly more money than I was getting when I worked in a factory. So, you know, <laughs> profits. But I kind of just play games in my spare time. So I guess I does that mean that I succeeded in living my dream? I think it does. I think it does, and I'm I'm happy about that. But yeah, never really thought about being an astronaut or anything. That was like never really anything that appealed to me. I never really knew what I wanted to do, and to be honest, I guess I still don't. Um, kind of like kind of like stars, I guess. Astronomy is kind of cool, but at the same time, wouldn't want a job in it. Every now and again, it's just nice to like, honestly, <laughs> sounds kind of sad, but just watch an anime where they go ahead and look at some stars and I'm like, yeah, woo, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm living the dream. <laughs> but yeah, I don't see any problem with that. Maybe one day when I'm like 35, I'll be like, hey, you know what? I've decided. I'm gonna be a circus performer. I'm gonna be the best damn clown there ever has been. And if that happens, you know what? I'll look into being a clown then. But until then, I don't have a dream, and you know what? That means it's game time. Simply enough. That means it's time to play Pokemon and all the other games that exist in the world, okay? There's plenty for me to do in the meantime. So, for anyone out there that doesn't know what they want to do, don't worry. <laughs> That's simple. <laughs> Although you will get pressured a whole lot of times for people wondering what you want to do. Like, the whole, why don't you have a job yet stuff. That, that hit me for a while, and oh boy was it annoying. But, at the end of the day, if you don't know what you want to do, you don't know what you're going to do. You're not just going to be like, oh, thank you, mystical person, for, for 
putting some peer pressure on me to decide. Mm, yes, I have definitely decided now. I'm <laughs> gonna do crack. <laughs> like, <laughs> this game is rubbing off on me, if you can't tell. This game is definitely rubbing off on me in a bad way. It's... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's just, let's just take out the Pokemon and leave the slums. It's the slums that are doing it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. You ball, Angelo. There was literally nothing in the slums. Nothing. Makes sense in a way, because it's the slums. Right? I, I get it. I do get it. But also, I'd like something to be in that. What do you say? Father is the gym leader of this town. I'm training to use poison Pokemon as well as my father. What was her name? Girl from Goto. Can't remember her name. Oh no. No, 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 no. I can't remember the daughter's name. What is going on? My brain's just stopped. My brain's just stopped. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? No. We know the person that that's referencing, right? We all know the person, the poison type gym leader of Johto, I just don't remember it. Uh, oh yes, I'm the move to Leah. I can make Pokemon forget their moves. Would you like me to do that? Mm, no, I kind of need all my HMs at the moment. I might want to get rid of cut at some point when we stop needing to cut down trees, but at the moment, that's useful. Met Bill, he's my grandson. He's always been a strange child. Is he in prison? Fair thing to ask, honestly. Fair thing to ask, you know. He's considering Bill was doing some strange things to Pokemon, you know? Yeah, maybe he should be in prison. But it's so damn annoying, he thinks he's so friggin' special. This fire zone is gone because of the warden's corruption. He worked with criminals. What a punk. Yeah, I did notice there was no Safari Zone, but honestly, we already got the HMs that we need, so I don't really care. But it is gym time. Koga, where are your friends? Koga? Koga? Koga, where are your friends? I got through that puzzle so cleanly, honestly. That's probably the cleanest I've ever got through that puzzle. Um, how do we want to do this? I genuinely think leading with Snorlax is just our safest bet as a whole. We have... Sand Slash, if there's any poison types like Muck. We have Combuscan, honestly, for the Venomoth, which might work out, might not, depending on Psychic. Uh, and the rest are just kind of neutral. So I think we just leave the Snorlax and we go ahead and start this up. It looks like you don't respect me. I used to be a ninja assassin, slaughtering hundreds at will. I am not washed up. I can still do it like I did before. You'll find out. Poison and sleep will mess you up, bro. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. The creeping horror, you make them sound like bugs. Creeping horror makes me think of bugs, more so than poison types. Level 37 coughing. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a level difference, but honestly, I don't think it's gonna matter. This coughing just got outsped by my level 34 Snorlax. That's tragic. And it got flinched twice. That's actually tragic, which means that he just uses a potion up right at the start of the fight. That's about best case scenario. That's genuinely a really, really good situation. I'm gonna just continue using Headbutt though. Oh, flinch again. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, if we got it again, that'd be crazy. But yeah, this, this is fine. If I'm not mistaken, actually, I wanna check before I say anything, just in case I seem stupid. Um, Muck's gonna come out, we're gonna go into Sand Slash. I just wanna check Snorlax's ability. If I'm not mistaken, I don't want to say anything. I want to check first, because I'm stupid sometimes. It has Thick Fat, okay. I wasn't sure if it had immunity, the, the thing that stops poison. Because honestly, when I was training up in Cycle Road, I got hit by Sludge a whole lot of times, and I didn't get poisoned a single time. So I wasn't sure if we had immunity. I think it's immunity. But yeah, we have Thick Fat, which honestly I kind of prefer. Immunity is nice, because you don't get poisoned, but also, essentially having two more resistances is pretty powerful. Uh, minimize and acid armor. That is disgusting. Stop that, please. It only takes one crit. It only takes one crit to break through. Please stop going for acid armor and minimize. Please. I don't have any 100% accurate moves. Oh, no. I'm starting to see a problem. I'm gonna try and rock tomb and honestly speed up because I want to lower its speed. Okay, there we go. We got a rock tomb off um, and then we're gonna try and rock slide, I guess. Yep, that's just gonna be that. So, 
So this sucks, right? It's pretty clear that this sucks. I'm gonna try and surf, because obviously it's got the, the extra defense. This isn't good. We missed surf. This is gonna happen a lot. Oh my god, that sludge did so much damage. Why on earth did that do so much damage? Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there, buddy. Do I have no potions? And this was the moment he knew. He messed up. <laughs> um, yeah, we're just gonna max potion. Mm -hmm. Okay, alright. Please don't do too much damage with your next sludge. Please just, just a small sludge. Doesn't need to do a lot of damage. Okay, that, that definitely tickles. Surf land. Surf land. Surf land. Okay. The torrent boosted surf landed, if that's any, any positive, I guess. That's, that's something. And we land the headbutts. Oh, there's the hyper potion. This, this was bad. This was a bad attempt. I fully accept this was a bad attempt. Um, I'm, I'm accepting my defeat here. I'm accepting my entire defeat, and we're trying this again, and I'm not using Sand Slash, because honestly, Sand Slash has only been bad so far. Sand Slash really hasn't done anything in the way of making me feel like it's a good Pokemon. So, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen, and we are gonna use Snorlax for the first two Pokemon. Doesn't that sound like a better plan? That sounds like a much better plan. I'm honestly getting rid of the Sand Slash. <laughs> I would much rather have a Graveler, to be honest, so... We will be sure to get rid of the Sand Slash. It's, uh, it's, it's proving to be a problem. I'm honestly gonna Body Slam twice, because we saw the Headbutt did just under half, meaning Body Slam should be a 2 KO. Don't you poison. Don't you do it. I also should have 100% got some damn potions. That's my bad. I'm stupid. It, we really got poisoned again? Okay. Well, that sucks. That sucks. That does suck. This is definitely a much worse start than the last one. I wish I had Thunder Wave or something. But we don't. We have Sand Attack. That doesn't really help us. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to stay in and honestly maybe try and yawn before we get popped. Or Body Slam before we try and get popped. Or we can try and get a rest off, but... We're gonna try and get a rest off. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? That's a shame. That's a shame. Um, from here, the best plan... I don't have a plan. Um, if we had Earthquake, this would be so, so simple. I'm gonna try and Thunderbolt a lot. Even Spark for the first turn, because I want the Paralysis. That's really good. That's really good, actually. There's the Acid Armor, but we can Thunderbolt. We can Thunderbolt. I am speeding up a little bit, because I, uh, I I already know it's moves that it can use, so... Thunderbolt's okay damage. It's okay. We can go for another Thunderbolt, and then honestly, do we self-destruct? Toxic. Okay, that's annoying, for sure. Is it worth the self-destruct at this point? If we went for self-destruct and didn't take out, that would be awful, and I honestly would just straight up lose my Pokemon. That sounds like a bad idea. Let's just find a ball twice. Yes, it'll use a potion, but honestly, I think we're fine. Minimize. Don't do that. 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 There's the Hyper Potion. Okay, we continue to find a ball. Continue to find a ball. There's another Minimize. This is going the same way, isn't it? Going for one more Thunderbolt, and then we're going to self-destruct. We're going to self-destruct after this. If we miss the self-destruct, I will feel very, very sad. There's a full paralysis. That's good. Don't potion this turn, and we are fine. Poison's definitely racking up. This turn, we self-destruct. Please be enough damage. Just get rid of the muck. Okay, all right, that's fine. I know it had the, um, the acid armor up, but the way that self-destruct works in Gen 3 is it halves the opponent's defense and then applies the damage. So actually, it does way more damage than it has any right to. I don't know why that's a thing, but that's just how it works. We are now going to go into Sand Slash, now that it's not up against something that, that needs to... Okay, this still isn't great. I'm going to just Rock Tomb. 
should lower its speed a little bit. It's probably already the slowest thing, but we'll go with this. And honestly, do I want to keep the Sand Slash around? Kind of. Kind of, because I think he's going to have a better off. So I guess we're swapping out. And going into, I assume, Raticate. This isn't the greatest situation. <laughs> you know, as, as trained up as my team is, they're still not great against this team. Um, we just go ahead and I guess we just Strength. And we whittle it down a little bit before we bring it. That did some good damage. That was some solid, solid damage. Okay. As long as it gets into range where Surf can take it out from Feraligator, I think we're fine. Because I'm pretty sure between Combuskin and Sandslash, and any of Feraligator's remaining health, they will be able to go ahead and take out the Venomoth. I have Runaway, not Guts. So that's right, that's right, that's right. I just need to check my abilities every now and again, you know? We can go for another Strength if we get another crit. Which we don't. But it's self-destruct, which I'm completely okay with. Sure, it's gonna take us out, but I'm okay with that. I'm absolutely okay with that. That's fine. As long as the Weezing goes down before any potions come out, that's fine. And now we want to go back into Sand Slash again and use their Rock Tomb. Lower the Venomoth speed. Please be a Venomoth. Weezing! Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Um... Gonna have Rock Tomb again, because I wasn't sure if we outsped. I mean, we outsped the last one, but this one's five levels higher. Um, okay. Okay. Smoke screen. Sure, that's annoying. That's annoying, but that's all it is. If you would like to self destruct as well, Weezing, that would be amazing. It sure would be amazing. I want flinches at this point. That's basically all I can rely on. Another smoke screen. Okay, alright, yep. It's definitely an annoying gym, isn't it? It's definitely annoying. Everyone having fun? I'm having a great time watching all of my Pokemon get covered in smoke. Flinch? There's a flinch. There's one. Okay, okay. Go for another. This way it's already at half HP, which is actually pretty, pretty good. There's another flinch. Okay, okay. Now as stupid as this sounds, I, I don't know if I want to do any more damage to her. I'm going to go for a Rock Tomb. It's probably like the least damage I can go for. Okay, alright, we miss anyway. That's kind of okay. We get hit by Tackle. Scary move. Big scary move right there. Big Tackle. Big Tackle. And I want to Surf with this Feraligator, and I really want to just KO it. I really want this to just KO and not see any potions used. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. See, there we go. We just had to not use Sand Slash against the Muck, to be honest. <laughs> You've proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. The Soul Badge raises the defense of your Pokemon, it also lets you Surf! I'm losing my touch, I suck, man. Take this, bro. No, you, you really don't suck that much. I mean, you did you did kind of bop me the first time, just because I wasn't prepared for Minimize, to be honest. That's basically what it came down to. Minimize kind of wrecked me for a second there. But with that, we are free. We have the T. So I guess our plan is, nice and simply, we go to Saffron Sea. I suppose. We poke our heads into Saffron, see what's going on there, and prepare for the Psychic-type leader known as Sabrina. I don't know why I said that like that, but here we are. And honestly, against Sabrina, are we even going to be okay? Are we going to be okay against Sabrina? We don't have a single thing to resist Psychic. Be a bite. <laughs> Sabrina, Sabrina might be hard, but for right now, before we do anything else, where is the Pokemon? Before we do anything else. Because not having potions in those fights was a decision, I guess. It was a decision. Um, Pokemon. Ah, it is over here on the left. Okay, that's, that's something I had to find. Lots of policemen in the Pokemon as well. Policemen everywhere, to be honest. We can only get super potions. I'll buy five for now. I won't buy too many. I'll actually buy some revives, because the revives are pretty cheap, to be honest. We can grab ten revives, and it's not actually that expensive. Let's grab, like, five more full heals. So they are pretty useful. And we'll spend the rest on either high potions, or if we have to, we'll go and grab lemonades. So pretty girl with a white hat tried to steal from here, using her as an example. 
No one is safe from justice. Oh, so she did actually just try and steal from the store. That was Leaf, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, Leaf probably does deserve to be arrested, but also, too late, we saved her now. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Will we be... be seeing Leaf anymore? Who knows? Who knows? For right now, though, I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. We've gone ahead, we've had a successful gym battle, we have explored all of Future City, we got the tea so that we can go ahead and go straight to Saffron next episode. The next episode will be Saffron City, and hopefully we'll be able to just go ahead and clear Sabrina's gym nice and easy. We will see, though. We will see, though. Uh, for right now, though, I need to make sure I go ahead and slap Fly onto the Pidgeotto that I went ahead and caught, and get on over there for next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above that, bye!